Hey Android fans, welcome to another Android app review brought to you by HollywoodFrodo.com. I am Eric, and yes, when it comes to Android app reviews, I've been a little MIA. It's been a really long time. Uh, most of the apps that I've already reviewed are still the apps that I'm using because they're the best out there. Uh, but there are a few apps that I realize I've been using a lot over the last six months or so that I wanted to let you know about. So this is going to be the first of just a couple of reviews of uh, new apps. So the first one I'm going to be talking about is an app called Swipe Pro. It is a Facebook app replacement, basically. Uh, if you don't know, Facebook is... It's a great app, except for the fact that it uses more resources than probably any app on your phone. Uh, I heard that a lot, I read about it a lot, I started noticing it on my phone that yes, indeed, uh, when I looked at it, it was using the most RAM. It was always running, uh, even though I might only check Facebook once or twice a day, uh, it uses the most battery, it's just, it's a hog. And I don't know why you would think with all the people working for Facebook and all the money they have, they would have significantly improved it by now and made it uh, less of a resource hog, but still is, still is to this day. So I decided to try some of these alternative apps that basically uh, what they do is they're like a wrapper for the uh, Facebook mobile web uh, interface. and. I tried a few different ones. The one that I found that works the best that I love is called Swipe Pro. And uh, let's jump on my phone. I'm gonna show you the features of it and why I think it's a great choice if you wanna get rid of the Facebook app and uh, still have all the functionality, but have something that doesn't use near the same amount of resources. So here we are on my phone. So you can see Swipe Pro right here. It's there because it's probably one of my most used apps because I tend to shake check Facebook about once a day. I'm going to open it up. You're going to, of course, see uh, my news feed. And I'm using the dark, that's why it's black with white writing. Uh, you can have different themes on Swipe Pro, which is kind of cool. Also, you'll see, uh, rather than have the uh, things at the top to change to news feed or notifications, you see they're down here at the bottom. Um, and that's kind of cool. And as you're scrolling, they go away. And then if you scroll down, that's when they show back up. So you can switch to, you can see your requests, your notifications. Um, everything that you would want is, is right there. Uh, you know, if you tap what's on your mind, you can make a post. You can choose location. You can also add photos and videos. Um, I have found this is the best way with this interface to do that. Uh, if you're in photos and you use the share button and share to swipe, that doesn't always work great. Um, but if you do it this way where you add photo and then you jump to your photos and pick a photo, that works excellent. Uh, that's what I do. Done it a million times. Of course you have your search. You basically have all the functions that you would have uh, if you were to log on to Facebook on a computer or on the Facebook app. Um, but again, this is sort of a, a wrapper for the uh, mobile web-based uh, Facebook. And uh, by doing it that way, it doesn't use many resources, but it works great. Um, you can see you have your little menu button up here. Uh, and this is where you can see that it's it's a wrapper for a web base because these are basically uh, uh, you know these are reloading tabs and things so it's like a sort of like a web uh, uh, browser. But we're going to go over to more, and if you go over to more, you see all the things that you have on Facebook available to you. Uh, you can switch to most recent instead of the general uh, timeline. You can go to events. You can even go to messages, but honestly, you should be using Facebook Messenger for messages on your phone because it's awesome. Uh, friends, find friends, you know, all the things that you would expect to be available, they are all right there. Uh, you can go to notifications, you'll see all your notifications just like usual friend requests, go back to newsfeed, etc, etc. Um, everything you need, it's all, it's all there. Uh, now let's go into settings and you'll see these are the different settings you can have that are really cool. Uh, you can load all your tabs immediately, you can ena enable or disable location access, uh, Chrome custom tabs, 
fingerprint lock, uh, enable notifications, enable messages. So, you know, this is basically kind of like using, you. it's going through your browser, but these specific settings are for swipe. So, uh, it's, you know, it's above my pay grade as far as how it works, but it works and it works really cool. Um, so you can have notifications or not. As you can see, I don't like getting Facebook notifications. I don't want to know every time somebody likes something or comments on something, but you can have that. Um, you can also enable messages. Again, you shouldn't because you should be using Facebook Messenger for that. But if you're one of the holdouts, you can do that. Look and feel. Here's where you can change the look of the feel. Uh, so I have the Google Plus look and feel, but there's three, uh, four different looks that you can have. You can have the default swipe, you can have a classic Facebook look or Facebook on iOS look. Then you have the app theme. Again, I have uh, AMOLED black. And what's great about that is it doesn't use near as much uh, battery as other themes do because the when you see black, those pixels are not being turned on, so it uses less battery when you're browsing that way. Um, but you can also have material dark or Facebook blue or, you know, lime, lime green. I don't know why you'd want some of these, but, you know, everyone has their own thing, so we'll try that next time. Night themes, you can automatically switch to a different theme at night, so that's cool. If you want, you can have it have one theme during the day, but then switch to a different theme at night. Uh, you can have material design uh, sort of injected into the way it's presented if you want that. Uh, you can swipe between tabs on or off, collapse toolbar on scroll, and you saw I had that enabled. Enable the floating action button, you can turn that on or off. Enable the splash screen, turn that on or off. Uh, you can lock it into portrait so it'll stay in portrait even if you're you know, turning it sideways, maybe if you read Facebook a lot at night while you're in bed. That would be useful. And then you also have your Facebook preferences, uh, uh, top feed, messaging client, hide news feed, hide people you may know, hide sponsored posts. Uh, you know, that's a lot of cool stuff. I probably should turn on hide sponsored posts. I've noticed there's been a lot more of those lately than, than there used to be. But anyway, um, the, all those features are there. And then you have some experimental features, uh, selectable text, uh, retain last visited pages, enable power saving mode. So these are a few tweaks that that may may not work as fast, may not work the same, but it'll save you some power. I don't think you need that with this because overall this saves so much power versus the regular Facebook app because it doesn't run when you don't have it open. It's not like always running in the background using a ton of uh, resources the way uh, that the Facebook app does. So anyway, those are basically it. Those are basically all your features and functions. And uh, that's that. Here's the new lime green that I changed to. Uh, that's just kind of weird. I guess it doesn't change much in the actual. It's just basically white now with black text. It just changes a few things to make them lime green. But anyway, uh, that's swipe. That's how it works. As you can see, you have all the features, all the things that you would want in a uh, Facebook app, but it's not an app. It's just a wrapper for the mobile-based web, and the way it works, it doesn't use near as many resources as a Facebook app does. It's not a Facebook, uh, it's not a phone hog for your resources and your battery, but gives you everything that you would want uh, in terms of being able to read posts, like posts, love posts, smiley face posts, uh, comment, reply, all those things work exactly the same way they do on the Facebook app. So really, really awesome uh, Facebook alternative and one that I would uh, highly recommend. As you can see, Swipe Pro is awesome. Uh, you get all the functionality that you have in the Facebook app. Everything you need to do, you can do. And it uses like one, I don't know, maybe one twentieth of the resources. Uh, so how can you beat that? Like I said, I swapped out. I got rid of the Facebook app. I was a little bit unsure about it. Um, I still use Facebook Messenger for messages because I think Facebook Messenger is probably the best uh, instant message messenger there is for uh, Android or iPhone and so I think everyone should have that on their phone and I do have and use that but I completely got rid of Facebook and have never gone back I've been without the actual face official Facebook app for about six months now and I do not regret it 
Um, Swipe Pro works great. It gives me all the things that I want to use in Facebook, uh, but without hogging all the resources on my phone. So anyway, that is Swipe Pro. That's it for this review. If you like this review, please click that like button. Uh, check out all my other Android app reviews I've done over the years. Like I said, most of those apps I'm still using today because I really only try to review the best apps that really enhance the uh, functionality of your phone. So check those out. Also, I have a product review playlist, lots of gadgets, electronics, a lot of Android uh, phone and tablet accessories. So you might want to check that out as well. If you want to take your phone to the next level, check out my Tasker tutorial series. It'll teach you how to use Tasker uh, to automate things on your phone and really make your phone a uh, power, power beast of a phone. Anyway, that's going to be it. Until next time, this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it. <laughs>